context, this story takes place during the height of the clown hysteria, when you would see clowns walking around everywhere with weapons and scaring people. Well, I was a freshman in high school at the time, and I was sitting in my third period English class, bored out of my mind, when I got a text from my girlfriend. She said she asked to go to the bathroom and was waiting for me by the empty classroom on the first floor. This is something that we would do often, meet up during class and just say hey and ask how each other's day was going. So I asked to go to the bathroom as well and made my way to the first floor. We always met by the empty classroom down here. It was pretty secluded and you were able to talk freely. My girlfriend was telling me about her plans for this weekend when suddenly this loud alarm started going off. We were both really confused about the alarm. Then our principal's voice came on the loudspeaker, telling us that the school is on lockdown and to get into a classroom and lock yourselves in there. This did not seem like a drill at all. My girlfriend and I went into the empty classroom near us and we locked it. The eerie part about it was, the alarm kept blaring over the loudspeakers. My mind was immediately going to the worst case scenario, that someone in the school was here with a weapon. We turned off all the lights and got into a corner. I had a bunch of my friends in a group text asking what the hell was going on. We were trying to be as quiet as possible when the door handle started to shake. My heart literally dropped to my stomach. Then someone started banging on the door. My girlfriend was in tears. Then there was a voice outside the door begging to come in and that he's hurt. My girlfriend shook her head no, but I peeked just a bit to see who it was. I could see the kid's face in the door window. It was a kid who I would see in the hallway sometimes, but I did not know his name. He was crying and begging to come in. Against my better judgment, I got up and opened the door. The kid fell into the classroom frantically. He thanked me so much. He held his left arm and he was bleeding. I asked what was going on out there and who did this to you? The kid was crying and said that he did this to me, he did this to me. I don't know who he was, but I went back to the door to make sure it was locked. And when I did, I was standing face to face with a clown. He was standing outside the door, looking in at all of us. He tilted his head and held up this gigantic axe. My girlfriend and the kid screamed. The clown was bashing the axe against the door. The only thing that I could think of was to get out through the window. There were large windows, large enough to easily let someone out. I opened it up and helped my girlfriend and the kid out the window. When I turned to look back one last time, I did not see the clown at the door. There were police outside already. They took us aside and kept us in a police car until the situation was cleared. Not even 10 minutes went by and we saw police escorting the clown out in handcuffs. It was a terrifying, nightmarish experience. The clown ended up having the axe on him and two knives strapped to his legs. The kid who was with me was okay, but he did have to get stitches in his arm. He was sliced by the clown and was lucky to escape with his life. No one else in the school was hurt. I don't know who the clown was. They kept his name private as to not give him any fame. This was honestly one of the worst experiences of my life. Back when I was in high school, I was always that kid who would ask to go to the bathroom when they did not need to go. I could not stand the idea of sitting in a classroom all day listening to teachers talk. I would literally ask to go to the bathroom every period just so I could walk around the school and clear my mind. Well, as usual, I had asked to go to the bathroom during my math class. I think this was like second period and I was already not in the mood to hear my boring ass teacher talk about algebra and all that dumb shit. I always went to use the farthest bathroom in the school just so I could take up as much time as possible. I was on the second floor I believe, wandering the hallways, enjoying the peace of mind, when all of a sudden an alarm started blaring. I had never heard this kind of alarm before. I was a freshman and we had not yet had any type of fire drills at the time. 
and I saw the few remaining students who were also out in the hallways with me hear the alarm and then start to sprint away. And that's when a voice came over the intercom saying to get into the nearest room and lock yourself in it. This is not a drill. Now I was terrified. I did not know what was going on, but I started to go to different classrooms. And I found this tiny sitting room, but the door had no lock on it. And I ran back into the hallway, my heart hammering in my chest. And I turned the corner to try and see if I could find an available classroom down there, when I saw this kid. He was facing away from me, and I thought he looked lost and confused. I did not want to leave him behind, so I ran up to him and said, Hey, come follow me. We can find a classroom together. And the kid turned around. And that's when I noticed that he had on all this tactical gear. Elbow pads, knee pads, a bulletproof vest, and this bright red bandana. And that's when I saw this large rifle in his hands. And I remember that I actually pissed myself. We stared at one another. The weapon was raised at me and my life literally started flashing before my eyes. The kid, who I actually recognized from school, stared at me behind his goggles and just paused. It was literally just the two of us standing in the hallway. The longer we stood there, the more it looked like the kid was going to cry. He looked at me for what felt like an eternity, lowered the weapon, and then ran off. I did not waste any time and ran into the nearest classroom that I could find. After one of the teachers finally let me in, we could hear a single gunshot go off nearby. We all waited in terrifying silence until the police eventually came in and escorted us out of the building. I remember there being so many cops outside. Well, it turns out, the kid with the gun ended up taking his own life. I later had to give statements of my story when I encountered him in the hallway to the police. No one can prove it because now he's dead but I think the kid was severely traumatized or really fucked up in the head. I think both. I'm just glad that he took his own life and not anybody else's. I really haven't been the same since. I sometimes have these vivid nightmares of the exact scenario, except in these nightmares, the kid does not lower his weapon, and I always wake up in a puddle of my own sweat. My therapist tells me to work on being grateful and to not live in the past. Easier said than done, but I guess I'm doing better and I'm taking it one day at a time. Thanks for listening. I was a junior in high school when this story takes place. It was prom season, and I'm not sure if other schools do this, but our school would always bring someone in to talk about the dangers of drinking and driving. It was meant as a way to warn us of the dangers that could happen if we wanted to get reckless on prom night. So, anyway, we had the entire junior and senior classes in our school's auditorium. The guest speaker they had brought in was some guy who actually ended up killing someone on prom night because he was driving back home drunk. It was a girl in his own class. It was actually really heartbreaking. A lot of people around me were crying. He showed us photos of the accident and they were very disturbing. The speaker definitely got his point across that we should not be drinking and driving and of the irreversible causes it can have on your life. And after the speaker finished, we were all dismissed back to our classrooms. I remember leaving the auditorium and there was this heavy weight of just sadness over everyone. Anyway, we were all heading back to our classrooms, when we heard this loud bang. I shoot guns with my dad, and I could instantly recognize that it was some kind of gun going off. Another kid started to quickly realize that it was a gun going off too, and started running to classrooms. Teachers were guiding us into them, saying to hurry. I was in a room with like 40 students. We locked the door, and pushed the desks and chairs in front of it to block it. I remember kids praying and kids crying and everything in between. I want to say like a half hour went by and we were guided out of the classroom in a single file line by a SWAT officer. We were finally led outside with the rest of the school until further notice. And I think it was like a day later when we finally found out what happened. So when we left the auditorium after hearing the speaker, apparently a man entered the school looking for the speaker. 
When he saw him walking in the hallway, he pulled out a handgun and executed the man on the spot. And here's the crazier part. This wasn't some random execution. The dude who shot the speaker was the brother of the girl who was killed in the car accident. Apparently the speaker was serving a large prison sentence, but was able to go around schools and speak about the horrors and consequences of drinking and driving. The brother found out what he was doing, got a gun, and went to our school and did what he did. I heard when he pulled the trigger, he did not even run or anything. He just sat there silently on the floor and waited for the police to come and arrest him. The shit was so crazy and I still cannot believe that it happened. But I guess people will do anything to enact revenge on the ones that they love. Be safe out there.